With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello everyone, let's start the question. The question says that acceleration of any electron due to the magnetic field is. So they are asking us to find out acceleration of electron due to the magnetic field. So first of all, let's try to understand when there will be acceleration produced in an electron when it is projected in a magnetic field. So to do to visualize this, let's consider a magnetic field which is established in space in such a way that for a given plane, the magnetic field is perpendicular and is moving into the plane of the paper. So let's say this is the magnetic field which is established in the given space. Now let's say B is the magnitude of the magnetic field. Now let's consider various orientations of electron projection. So first I'll be projecting electron in such a way that it is parallel to the given axis. That is this is the velocity direction. If velocity of the electron is parallel to the magnetic field direction we know that force experienced by a charged particle in a magnetic field is given by Q into V cross B. So if two vectors are parallel to each other, V cross B will be equal to 0. That is magnitude of force will be equal to Q V B sin theta. So sin theta will be sin 0. So F will be equal to 0. Right. So in the first case, as force is 0, acceleration will also be equal to 0. So in this case, there is no point in finding out the acceleration. Next, we will try to find out any other direction in such a way that I am projecting the my charged particle in such a way that it is perpendicular to the given magnetic field, maybe in this direction. So this, this is the velocity vector such that in case B, my velocity vector is perpendicular to my magnitude, magnetic field direction. Therefore, force will simply be QBB. That means force is existing. And it is going to be maximum because sin theta will be having maximum value when theta is equal to 93. And this force which is going to be experienced by this electron now when projected in the given perpendicular magnetic field will make this particle deviate from its path and it will follow a circular trajectory and it will have some radius of its trajectory. So and that radius of the trajectory if at all we are supposed to find out then we can find out the radius of the trajectory as this force which is experienced by the given electron will be providing the necessary centripetal force for its circular motion. Therefore, mv square divided by r will be equal to qvb eliminating v and rewriting an expression for r. This will be nothing but r is equal to mv divided by q. Now, if at all I am trying to find out acceleration of the electron in this case, acceleration is force by mass. So, it will be Q by M times BB. So, in the second case, I can say that there is some acceleration generated in the electron. Now, there is also an other way of projecting my given charge particle. The other way of projecting the uh, charge particle is that I can project it at any angle theta to the given magnetic field. So, magnetic field is into the plane. So, I can project it at an angle theta with the magnetic field. In that case also, there will be two forces. One is a parallel force and the other one is a perpendicular force. Parallel force will not be able to apply any acceleration or produce any acceleration. Perpendicular force, the component will be producing acceleration in the same way as in the case B. So now let's try to find out what is the acceleration of the electron considering the motion of the charged particle in the case B. So let's substitute for the given data. So acceleration will now be charge on an electron which is 1.6 into 10 to the power minus 19. Mass of an electron is nothing but 9.1 into 10 to the power minus 31 and Q times B the value will be equal and the ratio of V by V is again a constant which will be nothing but 35.7 into 10 to the power 2. So therefore on simplification acceleration value will now be equal to 6.28 into 10 to the power 14 meter per second square will be the acceleration of electron which is projected in the magnetic field and hence the correct option will now be option 4. Thank you. For class 6 to 12, ITG and NEET level. Trusted by more than 5 crore students. Download Doubt and App today.